Are you ready to do some super contest picks? Yeah, let's go. Let's do it. How do you want to do this this time? We we can do, I'll give one, you give one. You know, well, yeah, that's, I, mean, okay. I mean, that's what I assumed that's, we would do. Well, that's what I was figuring. But at one point last year, we got to where we were just listing them off. So <laughs> I went back and watched. I was like, that's not a fun way to do it. And so, all right, here's my, my first one on our super contest picks. I'm taking the Bills at home against the Steelers minus six and a half. I'm not taking any totals in this, by the way. I feel like the Bills defensive line is going to be able to eat in this game. I think Josh Allen, I don't believe last year was a fluke. I think that Matt Canada, first game as offensive coordinator, I think it's going to be a little bit of an issue here, especially against this defense. I I trust that the Bills are going to be able to win this, and I, I expect them to win by double digits. So what's uh, what's your first game? My first game going to Atlanta. I like the Falcons, minus three against the Eagles. I do think this Eagles team is bad. I do think this is a team that's going to struggle to win, I don't know, three or four games. I, I think they're going to be bad. I think the Falcons team is going to be much improved. Just getting Dan Quinn off of your roster, I think, is going to make them better. Bringing in Arthur Smith, he's an offensive mind. The offense is going to look amazing. It's going to look better than it's looked since Kyle Shanahan left. I think Matt Ryan is going to be more comfortable and better than he's been since his MVP year. And and offensively, they are going to be able to move the football. I have no idea how Philadelphia is going to stop them. I have no idea what Philadelphia is going to look like defensively. I don't really care. It's a three-point line. I think I think the Falcons win this game by a touchdown pretty easily. I I agree. I agree 100%. That is my next game here. I've got Falcons minus three at home against the Eagles. I think this Falcons team is going to look insanely more competent with a new head coach. Because I think that they've still got some pieces there to be able to win with. I think yeah. they still got skill weapons. I don't think Matt Ryan has lost a whole lot off of his game. He's he's not turned into Ben Roethlisberger yet. So I do think that the Falcons' defense will actually be a little bit improved as well. I, I don't like the Eagles very much at all right now. I, Nick Sirianni could could surprise me. Could absolutely surprise me. But you're telling me that. you're telling me that you are going to get. A Falcons team at home, new head coach, everybody fired up, new weapon, Kyle Pitts. That these home crowds are going to matter, man. Like I am all in on this. Give me the Falcons minus three as well. What's uh, what's game two for you? I'm betting a road favorite. This is a little scary. I don't usually like doing that in the NFL. But San Francisco 49ers are going to Detroit. This is a team that might not win a game. And if they win games, they'll win. A couple. I don't think they're going to win this one. Now I got to give up a lot of points. It's seven and a half. It's more than a touchdown. Man, I just don't know that that scares me. I, you're going to see a little bit of a trend here. I think the teams that are bad are going to be really bad. Okay. And if they're playing a team that I think might be okay, I don't even need them to be good. I don't have the Falcons making the playoffs. I don't think the Falcons are going to be a great football team. Doesn't matter. I do think the 49ers are going to be really good this year. I think they can make it back to a Super Bowl again. But I think this is a great team if they can stay healthy and keep it together. And I don't care who's playing quarterback for them because Jimmy G's already done it once. If he's playing, then that means he's playing well. And and I'm not worried about it. I'll lay the seven and a half on the road in Detroit. I can I can get with that. I can get with that. That's not one of my plays, but but I can see where you're going with it. I do think that there's I read maybe it was last year where if you, in games where there's a hook, like seven and a half, a hook off of a key number, the favorite typically covers past that hook like 60% of the time or 59% of the time or something crazy. Like, it's it's actually a pretty good value bet in that spot. So where you think that you'll get it you know, caught, the way that things have shifted with the, the new rules and whatnot, the uh, extra points being 33 yards instead of 20, all that kind of stuff, the point numbers have changed. Yeah, you are just as likely to win by eight as you are by seven. So the the key numbers are no longer as key as they used to be. So yes, I can totally see it. My third game, I am taking the Washington Football Team at home plus one against the Chargers, going all the way across the world here. Justin Herbert in his second season. Yes, I think he's going to be fine. I think he's going to be good. But my goodness, he is facing a defense in Ron Rivera going into his second season yeah. that I, I just fully expect to be uh, above average. We'll say that. I think they're going to be really, really good. Ryan Fitzgerald, 
Fitzpatrick, excuse me. I'm thinking Nick, uh, Nick Fitzgerald. I think that Fitzmagic is going to show out in this game against the Chargers defense. Right, give me Washington, plus the one. So I'm going to that L.A. game, and I think the Rams minus seven and a half just to play. I, I, I That is one of my gambling picks. We already talked about it. We've already covered it. I don't need to cover it anymore. I, th- I just think they're a much better football team. Yeah, yeah, I can, I can get with that. So you're taking some big favorites. Big favorites. All right. Fourth game for me. Miami heading up to Foxborough, and I'm going to take the Patriots minus three. I already talked about it before, but I trust Bill Belichick. I, all those guys that are getting back on the defensive side, and I think Mac Jones is fantastic right now. I think he's a better quarterback in this matchup. Uh, over two. Like, give me Mac Jones and the Patriots minus three. I, I did when I initially took this bet. It was at two and a half. Obviously, you feel better at the two and a half, but even at three, like I still think that this, I, I think this Patriots team is going to be awesome. So give me give me the three here uh, with the Patriots. My next play gets a little scary. I, I, I don't know how much I love it, but but I'm I'm rolling with it. I think this Panthers team is going to be good. This is a Matt Rule play. That's all this is. Year two on Matt Rule just for his entire life is is you just want to ride that horse and you're going to do really well because the expectations are still going to be low and you can do well. I think Jets are going to struggle. I don't know where they're going to get a lot of their offense from. I don't know how good this defense is. And this is just simply a, I don't know how many great players they have on their team. I do think this Panthers team is, is pretty talented and, and I think they're going to be very, very well coached. The, the the fear of this is Don, is Darnold. There's a world where Sam Darnold's just a bad quarterback, and it yeah. wasn't Gase. Maybe Gase was terrible, but Sam could be just as terrible. And and so I'll lay the five and a half. This is the one that scares me. Uh, I can get you a five. There you go. I'll there's, take the there's five. There's multiple fives. So, yeah. yeah, let's do a five. So I, I was talking about not doing totals. I thought really hard about taking the over with the Cardinals and the Titans at 52 because I don't think either defense is going to be able to stop the other one. But but I'm, I'm going to ride back with one that we've already talked about. I, the Raiders plus four and a half at home. I think that crowd is going to be awesome. I think the Raiders are going to play really well. Ravens are beat up. I, I think at some point that has to matter. And, and I follow exactly what you were talking about with John Gruden. I think the Raiders are going to have to show up here, and I, and I think they will. I don't know that they win the game, but I think it's a close game, and four and a half just seems like too many points here. Yeah, give me give me the Raiders plus four and a half for my fifth one. What's uh what's your last last? Pick? My, my last one's the Cleveland Browns. This this is just not even close. I think the Browns are going to win this game outright. Plus six and a half. That's the play. That's easy. Plus three thirty is a money line play. Yeah, and this is another one of those where the hook kind of catches it, right? Makes everybody think, surely the Chiefs will win by a touchdown, right? And and instead, really, the team you need to be looking at. I think people think the Chiefs are going to win by a touchdown because people think the Chiefs are just going to go back to the Super Bowl. Win. Like that's, I think that's what people think, Gary. That's yeah. fine. That's fine. That's not how football works. I've, I've watched this sport my entire life, and if you take Tom Brady and the Patriots out of it, nobody's done that. Agreed. We all thought the same thing about Aaron Rodgers after he won his first Super Bowl. How many has he ever gotten back to? I did zero. But the answer to that is zero. zero. So Patrick yeah. Mahomes has doubled what Aaron Rodgers has done his entire career already. Not that he's not great, and not that that team is not going to be unbelievable. This coming Sunday they will be the lesser of two teams. Yeah. Yeah. No, you're uh, you're right. All right, so that, that wraps up our picks. Let me give uh, the recap here. I'm taking the Bills minus 6.5, Falcons minus 3, Washington plus 1, the Patriots minus 2.5, and, and the Raiders plus 4.5. Sorry, Patriots minus 3, right? Isn't that what the updated one is? You have got, Chris has got the Falcons minus 3, the 49ers minus seven and a half, the Rams minus seven and a half, Panthers minus five, and the Browns plus six and a half. Waited until the very end to get his dog in there, and I can get down with it. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE 
at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.